Mercedes has been cooking up something big for their 2024 car. And guess what? We've got the top secret details. Yes, you heard it right. Today, we're diving deep into this video to uncover the highly anticipated leaked details about Mercedes' master plan for their 2024 car. In 2023, Mercedes Formula One faced a challenging season, leaving many wondering about the upcoming W15. Leaked details offer insight. At Suzuka's Japanese Grand Prix, Mercedes lagged behind Red Bull and McLaren. Telemetry data revealed the W14 lost 75% of its time in the high-speed first sector. Lewis Hamilton, the seven-time champion, explained the car's balance issues, especially the rear-end downforce deficiency, causing a significant gap. The W14 faced multiple problems initially, initially excelling in high-speed corners but struggling with slow-speed traction, as seen in the Spanish Grand Prix with George Russell and Lewis Hamilton's performance. Technical Upgrades and Shifting Performance However, the car's performance shifted dramatically as the team introduced technical upgrades, including a new front-wing specification. The W14 became much stronger on slow-speed corners but lost its stability on high-speed circuits. This unpredictability has made it a challenging car to handle. In response to these challenges, Mercedes conducts tests with different parts and explores a new floor philosophy. They are gearing up to introduce a new underfloor design and floor edge specification at the Circuit of the Americas. These upgrades are crucial as the team strives to regain its competitive edge in Formula One. According to insider information, Mercedes' new floor upgrade is closely linked to their entirely fresh philosophy for next year's W15 car. This connection makes the floor upgrade all the more significant, as it allows the team to gather real-world data on the circuit. The three key aspects of W15 development. As Mercedes embarks on the development journey of their next-generation W15 in the wind tunnel, there are three pivotal aspects they will focus on to ensure a competitive car for the upcoming season. The first major shift in the W15 project is Mercedes' move toward the aerodynamic direction that Red Bull has been pioneering. Many have discussed Mercedes' struggles in 2022 and 2023, with the zero side pods concept often coming up. However, the side pods are not the sole reason behind Mercedes' lackluster performance in these seasons. The main differentiators between a successful and an underperforming Mercedes car lie in the front suspension, rear suspension, and underfloor design. While the team has already implemented some changes to the suspension design, more work must be done. Mercedes introduced an anti-dive to their front suspension design during the Monaco upgrades. Anti-dive refers to the degree to which the front of a Formula One car dips under braking. A stable underfloor is crucial for consistent downforce generation in ground effect Formula One cars. Anti-dive limits the car's ability to dive during braking, ensuring a more constant underfloor position and consistent downforce. Another crucial aspect is the car's rear suspension. Red Bull has integrated anti-squat into their rear suspension, which works during acceleration rather than braking. Anti-squat offers several benefits, including improved downforce generation, better high-speed cornering performance, and the ability to lower the car for higher efficiency. This is a feature that Mercedes hasn't yet adopted due to complications related to its gearbox design. Anti-squat has been a significant factor in Red Bull's impressive high-speed cornering performance as seen at Suzuka. This explains why Mercedes struggled in the first sector of high-speed corners. High-speed cornering is a critical element of a modern Formula One car's performance, and Mercedes aims to incorporate these suspension changes into the W15 to maximize usable downforce. The final major change in the development of the W15 revolves around the floor philosophy. A closer look reveals that both teams occupy opposite ends of the spectrum regarding design. One of the distinguishing features is the length of the Venturi tunnels on their respective floors. Red Bull's tunnels are notably longer and follow a progressive design. In contrast, Mercedes' tunnels are shorter and exhibit a more aggressive approach. Intricate Details and Aerodynamic Philosophy Moving further back along the floor, we encounter intricate details such as kicks, vertical skids, and diffuser shaping on the Red Bull car. These elements align with Red Bull's aerodynamic philosophy, reflecting their meticulous approach. Conversely, Mercedes' floor design incorporates fewer complex details, a deliberate choice to complement their unique aero concept. Initially, the emphasis was on exposing as much floor area as possible. Mercedes believed that leveraging pressure differences between the top and bottom of the floor would result in substantial downforce generation. It's vital to clarify that the upper and lower floors are equally significant in a Formula One car's aerodynamics. While Mercedes initially favored the lower floor, Red Bull took a different approach, concentrating on optimizing the underside of the car to minimize drag on the top bodywork. Chassis Design Overhaul 
Another critical change Mercedes is implementing for the upcoming season is a complete overhaul of the chassis design. The upper front side impact structure, which had an unconventional layout in the W14, is a prime focus. With the addition of side pods in the W14, the side impact structure is now interfering with airflow, adversely affecting the car's aerodynamic performance. As Mercedes shifts toward the Red Bull aerodynamic direction, they emphasize the undercut design more. However, the current protruding side impact structure impedes the full realization of this approach. To rectify this, Mercedes is introducing a new chassis structure for the W15. So, what do you think of the 2024 car details of Mercedes' new car? Comment below and subscribe for more!